Hey, just a big hi to all the uh, number eight .co.nz fans and the uh, Highlanders fans. Um, it's good to see your support and uh, get them behind it. So, mate, uh, just to before we start the interview, Jamo passed on his love to you as well. Who's Jamo? <laughs> Uh, he's our head guy up in Auckland. Oh, yep. Hey, how are you? Uh, and how's the recovery going? Yeah, good. Um, probably, hopefully, another two or three weeks, and I should be uh, going to do a bit more training or rugby specific stuff, so, yeah, come on. What is um, involved in making sure this doesn't um, affect you in the long term? Uh, it's probably being patient, is probably the, the key to everything. Um, you know, if I come back too early, it could come get me in a year or so, so, um, yeah, it's just being patient is probably the key. What game will we see you back in? Oh, I don't know, I can't say any game. I, you know, I'll hopefully be back by the end of the season, but you know, it all depends on pain and uh, how my recovery goes. What was involved in the recovery of the stress factor fracture? Uh, most of it was just um, it was time, really. They, uh, it was just the bones needed to heal, and um, you know, it was... Yeah, I couldn't really do much. It was just a matter of waiting and, and scanning every two to three months and, and getting the, the results. Um, have you had a medical, a medical assessment recently to determine your playing fitness? No, that's um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll see a specialist and uh, get a better uh, view on things. What was it like winning a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, it was awesome, mate. You wouldn't, uh, wouldn't take it away from anyone. It's um, pretty special and, and now to move on to things like this, it's, it's good fun. Who uh, does the toughest training, uh, Gordon Tishman's or Jamie Joseph? Well, to be fair, I haven't experienced Jamie Joseph's. They're looking pretty rough, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say there'd be many that'd be tougher than Titch. And uh, who do you flat with? Uh, Jared Hawada and Aaron Smith. Did you always want to be a rugby player, or was there another sport as a youngster? No, I was always uh, played rugby from about five years old, so um, yeah, sort of stuck to that the whole time, really. What's the biggest highlight of your career? Probably have to say winning the Commonwealth Gold at, at this point. Probably. Do you have any uh, pre-game rituals? No, I'm pretty pretty standard mode. I don't. Uh, I just go with the flow and just yeah, roll along. Who and what influenced you to be a rugby player? Uh, probably not anyone in particular. It was just uh, you know from a young age I played rugby and you know you, once you play rugby and you see the All Blacks, you always want to be at that level. So it's just egged me on to to be that good. What's your most embarrassing career moment so far? It's a good one. Probably go with uh, being yellow carded for giving the ref a bit of jip, I'd say. Uh, what is your favourite flavoured pie? Nice and cheese, gotta be nice and cheese. Who is the biggest personality in the change rooms? Uh, Probably John Hardy or uh, Braden Mitchell. What what song uh, would you choose to run onto the field to if uh, Jamie said since his debut game? I reckon the bagpipes go right. We probably roll with the bagpipes if they're already there. What's the biggest sledge you've received on the field? Um, I don't know. I don't really listen out for what other people say, so um, I'm gonna give it a pass. I'd say. Can you describe the atmosphere in the Highlanders camp at the moment? I think it's a good atmosphere. We've got a good bunch of guys that all get on with each other. So, um, yeah, like there's probably no big heads in our team, as, as you call them, but you know, everyone gets on with everyone and you know, we all enjoy each other's company, so it's good.